If you're anything like me, you've got tons of pictures sitting on your computer where nobody can see them. I'm Christy Maddy with QuirkyFusion.com, and I'm going to show you how to use Windows Live Movie Maker to make a great slideshow out of your pictures, videos, and music. You can upload it to YouTube or Facebook, and burn it to a CD, and share it maybe with your mom for Mother's Day to show her how your kids have grown or how cute your dog is, or give it to a special friend to remind them of some of the fun memories you've had together. The best thing about Windows Live Movie Maker, other than the fact that it's super easy to use, is that it's free, so you can download it online. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks! As I mentioned, we're going to use Windows Live Movie Maker to take our pictures and turn them into a treasured keepsake that you can share with family or friends. And we're going to start right here at this Add Videos and Photos button. I've taken my photos and placed them in a folder all together just to make it easy, but you can also navigate through your folders and find the pictures and videos that you want to include. And I just hit Control A to select them all and open, and it brings them all in. And then right at the very beginning, I'm going to add a title. And whoops. these are our Walt Disney World pictures, some of them. So we're going to do that. And you can change the font, the background color, how long the title screen shows. But I'm just going to add a little effect just kind of for fun. And then head back to the home screen. And you can see we've got our title screen at the beginning and all our other pictures at the end. And you can put the pictures in the order you want. So I particularly like this one to be at the end. Sort of a cute ending shot. Come right back here to the beginning and we'll add some music. Now I have the sound off because I don't have permission to share this music with you, but you'll have to trust that it's there. It's this green bar represents the music. And you can see that the green bar ends before the photos do. And that's due to the length of time that each photo is shown, the length of the music, and so on and so forth. So you can adjust the length of time that each picture is shown. Maybe you want some longer than others or what have you. But the easiest thing to do is head over to the Project tab and click Fit to Music. That just shrinks down the length of time each picture is shown so that it ends up aligning with the music that you have. You can also add more music and loop your music and things like that. So I'm going to head back over here. And I just want to point out, you can add webcam video, other videos you have on your computer. You can add captions, credits at the end. I'm not going to do that right now. But what I am going to do is I'm going to oops, come right back over here. And I'm going to go to animations. And if you click on this, you can see there's tons of different animation styles. And this is how the photos transition from one to another. Um, you can flip and curl and twist, and I'm just going to add this sort of dissolve kind of effect and click apply to all, and you can see it, it added it to each of the, um, to the pictures in the movie. And then I also I like this pan and zoom. It, what it does is it, it zooms into an area of the photo and sort of scans over just to sort of a highlighted area. You can have it scan and zoom up and so on, but this one sort of does it automatically for you and so that's very handy when you're in a hurry and once again we're going to apply to all and really at this point you know the, the movie is done um, I'll play a little bit of the beginning of it so you can see how it looks and once again I apologize that you, you can't hear the fun music in the background um, but there it is and you can see it's sort of um, zooming in or out of the picture and sort of cap you know giving it a little bit more of a dynamic feel I'll pause that so you're not distracted. And then, you know what? You're just going to save your movie, burn it to a DVD. You can save it for computer, for email, I mean, for a mobile device. That's great. Or you can share it to Facebook or YouTube. And it really is just that easy. And there's tons of special effects thing and things that you can add. But it doesn't get much simpler than that to make a really special gift for somebody that you care about. So thanks for watching. And I hope you have fun playing with Windows Live Movie Maker.